Ooh. Hey y'all. You watching the bread? Chase the bread, yeah. Get a subscriber tap. Chase the bread. Chase the bread. What's up y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're not already subscribed, girl, hurry up, cause I've been gone for like, I say like a month or almost two months. I don't think two months, I think I'm dragging it. I think I've been gone for about a month and a lot of you guys have been jumping down my throat about it, which I mean, I understand because you guys love me. If I'm ever taking a break, it is for a reason. Whether the break is for my mental, whether the break is because of technical difficulties or family issues or whatever it is just know it's a valid reason that i'm not making videos because if i'm not making videos then i'm not making as much money as i could be making you get what i'm saying like i don't just love doing this for you guys just for funsies i do love and enjoy doing these videos however it is my occupation it is my job so if i'm not making videos it's for a good reason and this month has been so stressful for me like regarding filming like i don't think you guys understand i have made several when i say several i mean several community posts or like community tab posts like updates of what's been going on a little bit or just explaining that i'm gone for a reason and some of you guys have been patient and i love you guys for that and some of you guys have been very impatient and just rude like i'm not even gonna hold y'all rude and i don't appreciate it like the comments that are like oh i get y'all are like joking when y'all say oh chesta doesn't love us um some of y'all might be joking some of y'all might be serious but i don't like any of it like i don't like the jokes i will be making like a mukbang mukbang whatever you want to call it just explaining some of the things that's been going on some toxic family situations which i won't go too much into depth about it because i do know that i tell y'all story times which is me telling y'all my business but i only tell y'all what i am comfortable telling y'all and i really do not like dragging my family into the mix of story times or just like tea time because it's not tea it's real life it's my real life you know what i'm saying um when people mess with me and it's not my family i don't really care but when it's my family you know it hits different so i'm gonna give you guys just a little bit and don't mind my nail popped off today but i'm gonna give y'all just a little bit in that mukbang about the family issues but i'm gonna go more into depth about just everything else that's been going on i have had to literally like delete final cut and re-download repurchase final cut and all of that and y'all know if you don't know final cut pro is like 300 dollars. so before we get into it y'all i want to give a huge thanks to scentbird for supporting my channel and sponsoring this video y'all it's summertime it's hot outside and it's definitely the season to finding a good summer scent i don't know about y'all but my favorite compliment in the world is that i smell good like i'm always being told that i smell good especially when i'm wearing scentbird okay however personally i don't want to buy a full-blown full-size bottle just for a couple months of summer like no but thanks to scentbird i do not have to you can sign up for scentbird and get travel size fragrances sent to you monthly for just 17 dollars yes 17 dollars don't worry you get to choose every single fragrance so that whatever you're sent each month is not a surprise they have all the name brand smells like gucci prada dolce and y'all and if you're like me and there's a designer scent that you've been dying to try but not dying to hurt your pockets and splurge on like for me it's the gucci bamboo scent that i've been wanting to try but it's over a hundred something dollars and i don't got time for that you guys can get the same if not better smells and scents from scentbird for the low. but in my opinion what's even better than that are all the niche scents that they have me personally usually i wear a mixture of unisex to feminine scents like i don't stick fully to feminine scents so what you do is you twist this thing so it unlocks and it shows you a little picture of an unlock and a lock symbol so when it's unlocked you obviously can spray it you literally can pop it open right there and pull the fragrance out. As you guys can see, it comes with a lot of fragrance for this to be a travel size tube. This first scent right here is the Bo Rosario. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Y'all, this smells so good. This scent is described as an androgynous scent, which means it can be really a unisex scent. It smells good for the he, she's, they's, everybody. It has like notes of citrus and rose, lemon, pomegranate. I really chose this scent because I love a citrusy scent. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but I like it to be mixed with something other than just citrus. You know what I mean? Like something floral, just something to add to it and give it a little pizzazz. This smells so good. I would wear this like as an everyday scent. It's not too 
it's not too much like you walk by somebody and they'll definitely turn their head and be like "Ooh, she he they smell good however it's not like overpowering like damn like she's trying to take my nose out you know what i mean like this is a perfect everyday scent in my opinion in the past i've tried nothing but designer scents with scentbird which i love by the way 10 out of 10 either way but i'm going now for a more niche style set of smells just trying to find my unique scent or whatever my next one comes in this cute pink travel size case or whatever this scent is the mirrored image scent so this scent is more heavy on the floral side when you smell this you definitely smell like a garden full of flowers it has rose scents jasmine orange flower and then there's some bergamot and pear in there so it is a little bit fruity but more heavy on the floral side so if you really love a good floral scent if you want to smell like your grandmother's beautiful garden in her backyard not like your grandmother but your grandmother's beautiful garden that has beautiful flowers, you definitely want this scent. So the last, and I'm not gonna lie, my favorite scent that they sent me is the Joe by Joe Loves, y'all. This one comes in a pretty black, sleek case, which is personally my favorite. You guys know I love black. This one is hands down my favorite, favorite scent. This one smells more unisex than the other ones that I had. And I do see myself gravitate towards more scents that could be on anybody you know what i mean this smells really good it has notes of bitter orange spearmint grapefruit and lime and y'all this has notes of wood i love a woodsy smell like y'all know this just smells sexy i don't know how else to describe it like it smells when you walk in those high-end furniture stores and you're like what is that scent i need that smell where's the candle at i don't know if it's a candle i don't know if it's a perfume i don't know if it's a cologne i don't know what it is i don't know if it's incense but i need it that this is exactly what that smells like this is definitely something i would wear on a date this is something i would wear out with the girls girls night if i was going to the mall if i just wanted to turn heads if i wanted somebody to be like mm, like what what do you have on all of these are what do you have on scents but this one is definitely like more than 10 people at the mall will ask you what scent you're wearing literally or what lotion like they won't even know what it is they'll literally be like what does that smell if y'all don't get any of these scents get this scent joe by joe loves i rate all three of these a 10 out of 10 but this one might have to get an 11 out of 10 for me if you guys want to go ahead and shop with scentbird you can use my code chessa to get 55 percent off of your first month it's just a little over seven dollars for your first month y'all don't need to walk y'all don't even need to run y'all need to sprint to scentbird if y'all don't try one of these scents try my favorite joe by joe loves and let me know which scents that you guys pick up and what you guys think of them and thank me because i know y'all gonna thank me in the comments and again, thank you so much, Scentbird, for sponsoring this video. And you guys know I will be waiting for my next perfume. Disclaimer, y'all. The story story starts at 11 minutes. So if you guys do not care about the update, um, why I've been gone for like a month, and y'all don't care, and y'all want to fight me, then y'all can skip to 11 minutes. But if you love me, and you want me to get all my coin, and you care about what's been going on with me, don't. Don't say nothing about this. Then watch until 11 minutes, okay? Or maybe 12 minutes now that I'm editing, I'm putting this in there. But around 11 minutes, that's when the story starts. But don't skip. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for 100,000 subscribers. If I don't seem excited to you guys, it's because, I mean, I'm excited no matter what. But I didn't find out today that I hit 100K. I hit 100K a few days ago, and you guys, I cried. I threw up, I did a backflip, I twerked everywhere. Like, y'all don't understand how excited I am. I have um, a, a few surprises, honestly. I had one at first, but I have a few surprises for you guys regarding the 100K um, subscriber goal that I met. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Y'all are my real day one OGs. And if you aren't, if you're new and you are a new subscriber, you also contribute to my 100K. I love you as well. And if you aren't subscribing or watching me, you, you, I will fight. But, um, yeah, I love you guys so much. I will be getting my plaque soon. And when I get my plaque, I am going to, for one, when I'm back in my room, I'm going to have it in the background. Oh, that's another thing, y'all. I've been saying that I'm going to be back in my room and filming in my room next video next video next video but due to some family situations i have not been able to film in my house in my room um so that's why i'm still in the same background still in the same room but that will be handled soon enough i have been handling that behind the scenes also you guys um another family situation 
both of my little sphinx cats um both nova and venus are no longer with me and i don't mean that they have passed away or anything like that they have been rehomed i was planning on rehoming them for a while because the sphinx cat maintenance is so like it's just very thorough and it's very tedious and i didn't want to be selfish and keep them if i knew that i couldn't give them the best care that i could possibly just due to like my schedule and things that i have going on like i wanted to be more hands-on with them than i was and i was very thorough about finding someone who is specialized in caring for you know sphinx cats or like at least has experience and i did end up finding them a beautiful beautiful home i'll pop a picture up here of them they have other sphinx cat kitties that are now their siblings slash besties or whatever so they're very well taken care of um i cried about it it's been a month that i haven't had them like the whole time i've been gone that's another thing that's kept me you know away from youtube because it was really hard for me and at first um some of my family decided to move forward in making decisions with the cats that while I was not there and it created this whole situation and it really hurt me but they squared away now they are fine now um I still am in contact with the woman who has them now and I can see them whenever I want because I I did have Nova since she was like a baby kitten like y'all know I had to nurse her back to health and all of that so I'm gonna get more into detail about that in the mukbang but i didn't want y'all to get confused if y'all see a black cat because i did go to a shelter and i adopted i did not buy and i um got me a little black cat her name is boba um uh, this is not like a cat exchange or anything like that like i'm not gonna keep just getting different cats this is the last cat for me she has a sister and my friend ended up adopting her so she's her she is here with her sister right now but when i go back home when that situation is settled she will be having to have little play dates with her sister. Um, but yeah, that's just a little update if y'all see her in the background, if y'all see both of them in the background. So boom, just for some backstory because it matters and y'all need some context. If you know, you know, there is a little bit of sugar in my tank. Half of my tank is full of sugar. Half of my tank is full of, I don't know, gas, whatever, whatever. Y'all get what I'm saying. I wasn't always aware of what that meant for me. I didn't always know like what that means or like what i was obviously when i was a child i was just like i was just vibing like around when i was a kid it was more taboo i want to say like to speak on sexuality more than it is now like it wasn't just widely accepted or maybe it was in certain areas or for certain people but in my area it was more of a taboo thing this story time took place in seventh grade and at this point in my life like sixth grade seventh grade i hadn't done anything with girls other than just like kiss i've kissed some of my friends but when i was younger like when i would kiss my friends or we would i would kiss girls and stuff we would all like call it practicing for boys like we weren't saying it that we enjoyed it or that we were we wanted to kiss each other just like because we wanted to kiss each other because we were attracted to each other anything like that it was more so oh like have you ever kissed a boy like no oh like do you know how like let's practice like ew like just fruity like what i had never really like talked to a girl in the same way that i've talked to boys like not to say that i didn't want to at this point in my life in seventh grade i have had crushes on girls and stuff like that but i never really like experienced taking it further than just platonic or just kissing my friends basically is what i'm saying but just imagine practicing for boys more than once like girl you know you know you ain't practicing for no dang boy and around this time like i said there were a lot of girls that were coming out as bisexual or bi curious and a lot of them were like i can confirm because some of them were my friends and i just knew them some of them were doing it to be trendy or to like try to bait boys that they had crushes on and stuff like that because some of the boys looked at it as like ew like she's a swoop and then some boys looked at it as like oh that's hot or oh that's that's sexy that's cute you know what i mean and i thought it was very corny for girls to be like trying to do that for boys approval or boys attention like it's so backwards but that is really something that girls do like even still now and again at the time i was still figuring myself out so it wasn't like i was going to come out as anything or like like i was finna be saying oh i like girls too like it wasn't even nothing that i was talking about i personally always knew that i was attracted to girls i was not exposed to it on the media first i was not exposed to it in my environment in real life first i just knew how i felt and 
then I started seeing, you know, the Degrassi and I started seeing it on the media. I started seeing it and it was starting to make more sense for me. But I'm going to be completely honest. I just was not comfortable speaking about it. I had only told my grandmother um, thinking that I was going to get in trouble. I did not get in trouble, which was very eye opening for me. But I wasn't really talking about it with my friends and I wasn't comfortable talking about it at school. Back when I was in middle school, Kick was definitely the era. Like Kick was still popping. I don't know if Kick is even like an app anymore that people use, but I do know that kick was literally everybody's favorite app like even if you had an iphone an ipod an ipad if you had iMessage people still would prefer texting on kick um i think it was because like say i have an iphone and you have an android people didn't like texting because you know i have iMessage and it tells me when a message delivers or it's on red or woo -doo -doo. and if i'm texting you with an android it's gonna be green like you know people be bougie with that type of stuff but on kick i'm about to start sounding like a kick advertisement but y'all know on kick it used to say when you were delivered it used to say when you were on red and it also like i don't know if y'all remember like this detail but i remember like if you send somebody a message on kick the d like the d for the deliver would be like faint if they weren't on the app but if they open the app then it would be like a bold d like i just felt like kick was just goaded for that the main girls i'm gonna name i'm gonna name one girl snow glow i'm gonna name one girl doormat and then i'm gonna name the other girl kiki all of the names are gonna get explained y'all already know sometimes i forget to explain the names but some most of them are like self-explanatory but this time i'm gonna explain it it's gonna make sense when i explain it so kiki was a girl that i was friends with before all these other girls i had met her at the middle school that i went to first and she was like i'm not gonna lie to y'all I couldn't really tell if she liked me or if she didn't like me like one day she did one day she didn't but y'all know when i was younger i don't know about y'all but when i was younger in my friendships i was i used to like conceptualize things and like i would kind of be in denial of what like a friend should even act like like i don't know like i when i knew better i didn't do better like when i had friends that i knew didn't treat me like properly i didn't really like evaluate that deeper i would just be like oh like she just got attitude today like it wouldn't be nothing deeper than that we have been friends for a while before this like like over like a year she just exerted heavy like pick me energy like she was a super big pick me girl she was very like she peaked in high school and she acted like she didn't know that she was just gonna peak in high school and that's it but that's exactly what it was she just wasn't a good person to be honest like she's still not like i seen her not too long ago she was working at a restaurant and the first comment she made was like about my weight because i had gained a lot of weight after high school and like she had saw me and she had made a comment about it and i was just like i'm not even gonna say nothing because you're serving me not the other way around not that there's anything wrong with being a server or anything like that but it's like girl don't talk to me like do you want this tip or not like what sometime during the like the year in seventh grade like early in the year though she threw this little sleepover and my mom let me go so it was kiki me two of our mutual friends and then snow globe and doormat snow globe and doormat were girls that were in like her step team tryouts or whatever like they were trying out for the step team and i did try out for the step team but i didn't try out i think until eighth grade or whatever but they um met during tryouts and the way that they like divided us in middle school it was like teams so me and kiki and our two mutual friends we were on the same team and then doormat and snow globe were on a different team but you know any team can try out for extracurriculars and stuff like that so they had met kiki during their little tryouts and they became real cool and she introduced us to them and like we all became like a little friend group but like not like a secure friend group it was just like we were all cool and whenever kiki would like do sleepovers and stuff doormat and snow globe would be there and like we became like pretty cool with those girls too so we had a sleepover and we doing regular schmegular sleepover stuff at least what we used to do we were ding dong ditching we were prank calling calling restaurants and calling random people in our phones and truth or dare and stuff like that like we were doing regular stuff we were on omega just stuff like that and it was a normal sleepover at first like everything was normal there were no weird vibes there was nothing like nothing weird going on just a regular sleepover like we were enjoying ourselves i was having fun kiki's house was always like the sleepover house around this time because she had pants like she had a big old house for one and like her parents were like their room was so far upstairs that when we were in the living room like we would all just like sleep in the living room and like do whatever we're doing in the living room no matter how loud we were it never bothered kiki's parents and y'all know my house hispanic household it's either very loud or it's very quiet no in between and my family's like my house was loud during the day but at night maybe you could hear a pin drop so this is where in the sleepover stuff starts getting a little fast what do you mean by that 
I mean, a little weird. So, like I said, we started playing truth or dare and like I'm daring things like, oh, I dare you to mix ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise with pickle juice and apple juice and a piece of cheese and blend it and then eat it. Like, we used to dare each other to like mix up the most nasty concoctions and drink them or eat them. Or like if it was a or if it was a truth like oh is it true that you used to like so and so like you know regular truth or dare stuff. So it comes Kiki's turn and she's like y'all I got a crazy one and everybody's like what what and she's like I dare everybody to kiss the person next to them. <laughs> Mind you I ain't never been scared to kiss nobody or like to kiss my friends or whatever like but it wasn't that type of party like what I don't know why you daring this right now but i was just looking like i'm looking around at everybody everybody's looking around and everybody's like okay so we all turn and kiss each other or whatever but kiki's forgetting that she's sitting next to someone so someone ends up being me and um snow globe or one of the girls goes like oh kiki now you have to so she turns to me and she kisses me and y'all all i feel is like i'm not even gonna try to describe that to y'all because y'all get it but it was like it was gross and she just did the most like she of course pick me girl had to do more than everybody else i don't know what she thought that that was i don't know if she thought i was gonna like it but i almost threw up i almost threw up she thought i was gonna get butterflies she thought she ate the entire plate was full kiki's next turn comes around and she's like chessa it's your turn truth or dare and i'm like truth because i definitely did not want her to you know dare another crazy thing or do nothing else like that i was very put off by that so i was just like oh true and she's like is it true that you like girls and i start farting and throwing up like i'm about to hyperventilate and pass away because i'm starting to think like this is targeted at me or like she found out something somehow <laughs> what, what, what what are you talking about no i <laughs> I don't even know why she would say that. Luckily, she's like, okay, like, I was just asking, and then we move on with the game. So fast forward about two, three months into the school year, Kiki, of course, is one of the girls that comes out as curious or whatever, and she starts doing weird things in front of boys, like, she'll come up and go like this to you, or she'll smack you on the butt, or, like, just doing stuff, but, like, it would always be a boy around that she, like, liked or like she was real touchy-feely with with him as well she looked like every friend of hers was her girlfriend she would sit on her lap she would kiss him on the cheek she would like just do extra stuff like just annoying this is where snow globe comes into the story so i get a kick message from snow globe this is like sometime after school or whatever and she expresses to me that she's feeling kiki and that she has feelings for her and just basically like that she felt like she wanted to tell Kiki but she didn't know how or she didn't know if she should. She wanted my advice on whether she should keep it to herself or like whatever. And I basically told her like as nice as I could, I basically told her that I feel like she should feel out her feelings some more for one because like this is a new feeling that she's just now having. Cause she told me like she didn't feel like this before. And I'm just telling her like, you know, fill out your feelings first. And I kind of try to squeeze in there like that I don't think that it's good that she tells her but i told her it was because she could like ruin their friendship and she was worried about that so i was like if you really don't want to like risk ruining the friendship then i wouldn't tell her that um but i was like if you just can't like keep it to yourself or if you are willing to risk the friendship to find out if she feels the same way about you then tell her but i honestly think it might ruin the friendship and y'all i wasn't trying to be funny or anything like that but kiki was already like shading snow globe from time to time like whenever they would be in argument she would be shading her and me and snow globe were friends by association like you could say that the whole friend group was just like messy and fake because when she would be talking about snow globe i wouldn't go and tell snow globe because i felt like that would be more messy because i didn't really talk to snow globe unless kiki brought her around but like we were cool like i wasn't mean to the girl i was nice to her um so i wasn't really surprised that she had texted me this i should have seen it as a red flag so just Mark that in your head as a red flag for now. We'll get to why. So she's just like, I agree. Thank you for the advice, whatever, woo, 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 and we stopped talking about it. So another day, Kiki ends up kicking me, and she's like, hey, do you want to be added to this kick group chat? Which, if you were back then, if you were, like, here for this era, if y'all were, like, in the kick era, y'all know there used to be fat-ass, like, kick group chats with people you didn't know or, like, people in the area or, like, you could just ask somebody and it would just be a real big kick group chat. People would get to know each other, talk, whatever. So I was just like, sure. 
so she ends up adding me to this kick group chat it's hella people in there it's boys it's girls it's a mixture of everyone and i just kind of go and like look at everybody that's in there because you know you would go and look at the pictures and be like oh he's cute oh she's cute like oh um and yeah she added me to the group chat and it wasn't really anybody in there other than kiki that i knew or recognized and I kind of like asked her like who are these people like who how do you know them and she's just like oh um I know some of them from like my elementary school or like from before I moved here and I don't really know like the girls but um I know some of the boys or whatever and I was like okay cool so the group chat ended up just being something where people would send like twitter links or like memes or like flyers for parties if they were having them or like they would send their posts and be like go like my post on instagram stuff like that like it wasn't really something we were all talking all the time or anything like that so fast forward some more I get a random kick message and I don't recognize who the person is so I'm like kind of hesitant to even open it or whatever but I see like the picture is of some girl we're gonna name this girl dream because I was sold a mother dream her name is gonna be dream Kiki was in my first period and then in my third period so second period we would kind of like split our different ways or whatever and I remember specifically this kick message I got while I was in second period I don't recognize this girl like I said and I ended up messaging her back her message was like hey or something like that and I was like hey like how did you get my kick like who is this and she's just like oh I'm in that group chat with you and I'm like which one because I'm in a bunch of group chats and I was just like oh which one so she sent a screenshot of the group chat and it's the one that Kiki had added me to and I was like oh okay like hey girl like and she was really pretty y'all her picture it didn't look catfishy it didn't look like some random ig baddie it looked like a girl my age she looked pretty looked like she could have went to another school in my area or whatever right so i'm just like oh hey like what's up girl and she's just like oh my name's dream like i go to so-and-so school she's like um i just wanted to message you because i thought you were pretty and she was like i don't know if you like girls but um i'm definitely like shooting my shot basically is what she was saying she was cute to me i had never talked to a girl before but again it was not because i wouldn't um and it made it better for me that she didn't go to the school because i wasn't fully comfortable yet or like you know i just wasn't fully establishing how i felt about the whole situation so i told her i was like yeah i do um i never talked like i was honest with her i was like i never talked to a girl before like seriously but i'm down to and she's just like okay like we basically established that we want to get to know each other like we want to talk or whatever in the most childish way we could say it because you know i wasn't like oh i'm down to get to know you when i was in freaking seventh grade i was just probably like yeah girl we can talk we can have a talking stage or whatever the fuck we were saying so i'm not gonna lie to y'all like i was geeking i was cheesing um i went to my next period and i was just i guess like i was just cheesing because i remember kiki asking me like oh who, who has you smiling at your phone or something like that she's like why are you smiling and i was just like oh nothing because i was very like i kept my cards to my chest when it came to certain certain people like certain friends of mine because i just felt like I could not tell Kiki that like I was not gonna tell her that I already told her I didn't like girls so I wasn't even finna tell her that I'm just like nothing and she's like oh you talking to somebody and I was like I lied and I told her like I was just texting some boy so she would leave me alone about it because I felt like she was gonna press me so I was just like oh some boy had kicked me and like um we're talking or whatever and she was like show me a picture and I was like I'll show you um later like I, I was like I don't want to show you right now because I didn't like have a picture to show her like I it wasn't no boy so I was gonna have to figure it out before I could show her so I could lie so in regards to dream like y'all we started talking like all day every day um she did tell me that her second period and like her fifth period she had like real strict teachers and couldn't really text me in those classes which it wasn't a red flag to me because she said second and fifth and I only had Kiki in my second period y'all I got this whole thing confused so I know somebody is confused and is gonna like try to correct me in the comments so I'm gonna just explain I said Kiki was in my first and third period second period was when we like dispersed and went our separate ways i got it wrong in the video and got confused and said something completely different the girl dream told me that she couldn't text me in first and her fifth period or something like that first and fifth or third and fifth one of the classes that i had kiki in and then some random class that she just threw in there and told me and i got this text message in second period because that's the period that i wasn't with kiki if that makes sense so like just know i wasn't thinking like deeper than what the girl was telling me and like we would send each other selfies we were talking about family like we were really opening up opening up to each other i was telling her like why i wasn't really comfortable telling people at my school like i liked girls like telling her why i had never really talked to a girl before just telling her about my feelings when i was going through with my family i would talk to her about that 
um yeah like i was really opening up to her we were getting close really fast which is very lgbtq of us but we were just like connecting real quickly and talking deep real quickly and like talking every day and i was really catching feelings for her right i remember a specific conversation and at the time like one of my cousins like my um my girl cousins was over at my house because she's older than me so like she was like over at my house visiting or whatever and i did tell her about it because i could trust my family with it like i didn't tell like my brother and stuff because i didn't really know he didn't really care anyways but i could trust my family with it it was just more so my school that i was worried about so i did tell her about her and like i expressed to her that there was a red flag that i did see um i started getting in my head about like whether she was a catfish or not because I remember asking her like do you want to get on the phone and she was kind of like oh like i text you on kick because i don't really have an iphone um i have an android so i can't really get on the phone with you and like i was like y'all i liked her so i was like ubu skype like what do you mean we can't get on the phone girl you don't need no iphone uh, iphone just to video chat like we can video chat on the computer babe and she was just kind of like oh i don't really have like uvu and stuff like that like i don't really like getting on the phone like that like she was just making excuses and like running around telling me she didn't want to get on the phone basically but i am telling you right now that motherfucker that mother back there is not real and i had told my cousin about it and my cousin like she was like i don't think she's a catfish because she sends you hella selfies and like she don't look like a catfish i think maybe like she just might be nervous to get on the phone with you either that or she might not be taking you seriously because she was like a lot of girls because my cousin like also likes girls and she was like um a lot of girls like like boys and girls will take boys more seriously and like not really take it seriously like i don't know like she was just making me nervous in my head about it like she was ma having me second guess things but at the same time like what she was saying made sense because what other reason would you not want to get on the phone and i was hoping it wasn't that she was a catfish i'm not gonna lie like that was like the last thing that i was actually genuinely thinking so fast forward about two more months me and dream are still talking daily but we never established what we were so like i know she was talking to probably talking to boys and stuff i was talking to other people like we had never established that we were girlfriends or like gonna date exclusively or anything like that um so i wasn't really stunting too much her inconsistency because she was inconsistent at times but she would tell me like oh she's going through it with her family like she don't really want to talk and i wasn't gonna press her like because i wasn't pressed you get what i'm saying but i did really like her so at this point two months in talking to her i'm not gonna lie to y'all we had like texted freaky with each other like we had no business doing that but we absolutely did we didn't exchange photos or anything like that thankfully but we definitely like had talked in ways we had no business talking and i'm gonna leave it at that and this is when kiki starts acting a little weird towards me and y'all are probably thinking like oh she was being distant and rude no like she was being hella affectionate with me more than usual like she was trying to like cake with me she was just acting in a way towards me that she didn't normally act like she was affectionate like i told y'all but she was just like she amplified that by like a hundred she was like all over me and it was very uncomfortable for me like i'm not gonna lie she started interrogating me about my sexuality asking me why i don't like girls if i'm sure i don't like girls if i've ever tried anything with a girl like just pressing me pressing me pressing me pressing me like girl pipe down please later that day i started venting to dream like i wasn't talking like ish or anything i was just like what would you do if your friend started making you uncomfortable like i have this friend who like she be coming and jumping on me and like touching me and just making me uncomfortable and asking me like do i like girls and like just pressing me like i could tell she wants something with me and i don't want that and i don't know how to like make it clear to her because i already told her i don't like girls and i don't be reciprocating the energy like i was just kind of like venting to her in a way dream starts getting real defensive like getting an attitude with me she's like well what are you doing to give her the impression that you know it's appropriate for her to do that with you obviously she's not doing that for no reason you must be flirting with her what aren't you telling me like she just starts like trying to check me and she's like acting very like accusatory so i'm just like um nothing like i don't like this girl like i i almost wanted to be like ew like what the i would never like ew but i was just like no like i have no no interest in her at all i made it clear to her multiple times and she's just like have you ever kissed her or anything and i was like i'm an honest so i was like honestly i kissed her in like a truth or dare because she dared me to basically like but i never kissed her beyond that and she was just like why would you be friends with a girl that you kissed and you didn't tell me like i don't care what you do if you talk to boys or whatever but i should be the only girl you talking to or kissing or whatever like girl we ain't even we ain't never even met in real life and kissed so what are you talking about but I just clocked it as her being toxic and jealous i'm not gonna lie like i didn't clock it as anything suspicious of course i didn't but 
I just thought she was being toxic and jealous, to be honest. So after this conversation, she kind of ghosts me for like a good week. Like she doesn't text me back for a week. And again, I clocked it as her being mad at me and not really wanting to talk to me because she had done that like before. Um, not for like a week, but like I've said something that made her mad. She didn't text me back like until the next day. Um, and I kind of just was like, well, she really did go off. Um, so maybe like she just needs some time to cool off. And again, I was talking to who else I was talking to. So I wasn't pressed about it, but I was bothered because I really liked her. So like I went to school the next day and like after the week or whatever, it's been like a week or whatever. And I went up to Kiki, Snow Globe and, um, Doormat cause I seen them all talking by the lockers or whatever. Mind you, up until this point, I have talked to them about like me talking to a boy. Like they think it's a boy the whole time. Um, and I have been talking about him or whatever. So I basically come and I'm like venting to them and I'm like, this the boy I've been talking to, he ghosted me for like a week. Um, he We got into like a mini argument and he like hasn't talked to me in a week and like I don't know if I should cut him off. Like I'm just like upset basically. I'm like basically asking for their advice like what they think I should do. And y'all, I kid y'all not, I kid y'all not, like a Disney movie or like a Disney show they're all looking at each other like like trying not to laugh like they're all smirking like and i'm missing the joke you get what i'm saying so i'm kind of like i start getting a little like mad and i'm like looking at them all like what like what's funny like why are y'all smiling like that like am i missing something y'all like freaking clockwork the bell rings and we all disperse like i'm like whatever and like we all have to like go to class or whatever and i'm mad like this had me tight for the rest of the day like i was mad like i was ready to come talk to them about it after school basically so after school i go around the lockers i don't see them i go to the bus loop and i'm a car rider at this this day i go to the bus loop i don't see them i go to car rider i don't see them like i could not find not one of them so i texted kiki after school and i was like do you know why y'all were all smirking at each other or am i like overanalyzing like am i tripping or were y'all all smirking at each other? Like, why were y'all acting funny like that? So immediately, she asked me to a group chat with just her, Snow Globe, and what's the name? Like, without our mutual friends. She makes, like, a little mini group chat with all three of us. Or with all four of us. And she's like, okay, now say it again. And, like, it's almost like you think I won't say it again because y'all you added these hoes. Like, I wanted to address you first because, like, you really been doing it for me, basically. So I'm like, I just wanted to know why y'all were acting funny when I was talking to y'all about oh boy and y'all were kiki and smiling at each other or whatever. And Kiki goes, y'all. And I just want to know why you've been lying about your sexuality. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't cry, are you? <laughs> doormat drops a laughing emoji. And y'all, I named her Doormat because she literally was like such a like background character and she literally just did whatever kiki wanted her to do and like kissed her ass basically like she was like a yes man for kiki like i wouldn't be surprised if she had a crush on kiki and not snow globe like she wanted kiki she was on kiki's nuts for real so she dropped a laughing emoji snow globe is like dropping tea emojis and stuff so i'm like okay so these hoes are fake so this is this is the way that they want to take this cool and i'm like what are you talking about like i'm trying to clock the tea like what are you talking about and they're kiki's like you told snow globe not to tell me she liked me like you blocking you didn't want her to express how she felt about me because obviously you want me are you delusional do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness and i'm like oh my gosh this is the most delusional thing i've ever heard in my life like you cannot be serious you cannot be serious this has to be satire and i'm like girl what is you talking about i did not tell her that because i liked you and she's just like she starts going in she's like i be touching you you don't be saying nothing to me like you don't like if you had a problem with it you would be like getting mad or pushing me off of you and when we kissed i definitely stuck my in your mouth and you didn't even say nothing and i'm just like girl do you not like can you not pick up on body language i do not like you you be touching me i don't be touching you and like i do be kind of like like getting off of you but i see you do that with everybody so i wasn't gonna make it like a personal situation or attack on me i just don't be reciprocating it to you and girl like you didn't see my face when you stuck your in my mouth i wanted to puke what did you talk about like 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 let's really talk about it let's really talk about it snow globe starts doing her big one and she's like girl boo you just jealous of me you didn't want me to, to talk to kiki because you like her just say you jealous ah, ah, ah. and i'm like y'all snow globe now i can tell y'all snow globe for one she built like a snow globe she's a circle and if you shook her her dandruff will fall down like some snow literally the girl had like the same wig in same weave in for like from 6th grade to 8th grade, she kept the same damn sewing in her head. Like, she had dandruff bad. 
like bad leave your your brush white like snow you shook her snow will fall literally like girl nobody is jealous of you nobody is jealous of you i was trying to be nice to you i was trying to be genuine in advice when you asked me for advice and now you want to like be funny like we can really clock the tea i start spazzing because i'm like y'all hoes supposed to be my friend y'all trying to gang up on me on some bully and y'all not about to be on no bully with me i'm nothing but nice to y'all kiki i definitely do not like you in that way and i feel like you just mad la, 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 so at this point I leave the group chat because I'm mad. I'm already ready for tomorrow to slick my hair back, put my Vaseline on my arms, and I'm ready to whoop three hoes if I have to. Like, I am ready to fight at this point because I'm feeling, like, very betrayed and just, like, they tried to, like, try me. Like, they tried me. Even though I haven't heard from Dream in, like, a little over a week, I was very mad. Like, I was very heated, and normally I would vent to her and talk to her about things so i sent her a little message and i was basically like if i made you upset with what i told you about my friend i apologize i really was not flirting with her i really have nothing going on with her if anything i really want to fight her because this is what happened today and i like told her what happened i i was basically just like i hope like we could talk about it because i really miss talking to you type shit right immediately y'all she opened the message and again this is kick so she left me on red and about five minutes gone by she didn't say nothing a few minutes later i get tagged on an instagram post from kiki <laughs> kiki posted a screenshot on her story of me and dreams conversation and when i say our conversation i'm talking about that little heated freaky conversation i told y'all that we had on kick it was screenshots of that i remember thinking i'm about to beat this bitch up yes i almost projectile vomited immediately farted threw up all of that of course and to make matters worse, right after seeing this post, oh, and the post said something like, whatever version of this you, I don't think this you was like a, a quote back then, but like it was something like, um, oh, look who, look who it is and tag me, like blasted me on the post, blasted me. And right after that, I got a kick message, y'all, like a photo from Dream. And why was it Kiki with her middle finger up like this? Like she was like, D -d don't ever think that you know, you that girl, but I don't think that you that you that good comeback, you good reading girl, but you I, I fuck with that little thing, okay? Yeah, yeah. You you're not that bitch or nothing, but yeah. you still yeah. ate that little one, yeah, that little yeah, one yeah. thing, ate that one thing. Y'all, and it was from the kick camera. And now that I realized like or in this moment now, not now now, but like now in this moment, I realized that all the selfies that we were sending to each other, none of them were from the kick photo, like camera it was from like our photo gallery which me too because i would take pictures on instagram and edit them and stuff i would never just send no picture like you know straight from the camera so she didn't either because it wasn't her it was kiki which i already knew from the title but like just pretend like you didn't know just like i didn't know in this moment so i immediately like i'm not gonna lie to y'all that hurt like that hurt me i was ready to beat kiki i wanted kiki's head i wanted kiki's head on a stick I wanted to beat Kiki. I wanted to drag Kiki. Whew. Which, as you guys predicted, probably, if y'all didn't clock all of this, I'm just going to tell y'all now. She had Snow Globe pretend to like her and text me and ask me just to see what I would say because they already had in cahoots all of this going on and freaking Kiki didn't want to get on the phone with me because, well, obviously it was Kiki. Dream didn't want to get on the phone with me because she was Kiki, but she also didn't have an iPhone because she had an iPad that she was texting me off of. And she had iMessage that was connected to Kiki's freaking Apple ID. So she didn't want to text me because I would have known it was Kiki. And obviously she didn't want to get on the phone because I would have seen that it was Kiki. And Kiki was in my second period, which is why she told me, oh, my second period. And she just threw in fifth period to throw me off. I can't text you because she would have been texting me right in front of my face. I didn't clock none of this, of course. Like, and Dormat knew about it. Everybody knew about it, but little old me. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I got to school the next day. I had made up my mind that I could only pick one of them girls to fight because let's be realistic. I was down to fight all three of them, but I knew that it wasn't gonna be no one-on-one -on -one with, with each girl. I was gonna get jumped. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go for Kiki because Kiki's the main person who orchestrated this whole thing. Them little girls are just followers. Like, they just are munchers. They are on her dick and I don't care. And snow globe could have just sat on me and that would have been like the end of it so i slicked my hair back i was ready to come to school and fight the girl i caught her in the bathroom and i told her to square up because i never been about like sneaking nobody like i should have because there have been situations where like i had to just do what i had to do but i was like square up kiki like what's up like you want to fight square up and this girl started walking out the bathroom like loud as 
Like, like, oh, you oh, don't want to fight me for real, girl, bye. You don't want to fight for real, girl, bye. Walking away, like, like it was starting to echo. That's how far away she was getting from me. And, like, by the time I got out there, like, I was heated. Like, I was screaming down the hallway. And a teacher had to escort me to ISS. Like, I got ISS. I got ISS that day for trying to fight her. Like, they didn't even ask me, like, why? Like, if y'all asked me why I'm trying to fight her, y'all would probably let me go. Like, y'all would probably let me, like, drag her up and down the hallway. Because I was so lame. I didn't end up fighting her. Like, she ended up getting a cease and desist on me. I don't know if y'all know what cease and desist is. Like, but it's basically, like, I had to sign something saying that if I, like, talked to her or bothered her in school, um, I would get, like, OSS or something like that. Suspended, expelled, I don't know. Press charges on me. I don't remember. But she got a cease and desist on me. We had, like, this meeting in the counselor's office. Um, where I basically had like a peer mediation with her and I was just sitting in there like this the whole time like Because I wasn't about to mediate nothing. I wasn't about to be cool with her I wasn't about to squash no beef with her I told them if she bothers me if she talks to me I'm going to fight her. I told the counselors that I told the office that and she agreed to not talk to me and We didn't talk again in middle school, but we had some more beef in high school, which that's another story time for another day but i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you comment like and subscribe comment other videos that you guys want to see from me turn on the post notification bell so you never miss when i post a video follow me on all my social medias that are in the link tree in the description box below and also thank you again so much to scentbird for sponsoring this video you guys can check out my code to get money off of your first month and definitely try out the scents that i tried and if you don't comment down below what scents you do end up trying and how you like them thank you again scentbird i will be waiting on my next package and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video again sorry for the delay sorry for the break sorry for all of that i will make it up to you guys in story time september i will make it up to you guys on this giveaway that i am putting together right now um and i definitely have a few more su surprises for you guys along with i love you guys so much for 100k y'all y'all don't even know like y'all are my girls like ooh. and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one bye Chase it to the bread, chase it to the bread.